Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, April 1st, 2024. I pray that as we go through the series of reading for this month, that they will be a blessing to you and that they will encourage you. I pray that the Lord will continue to pour out his love and his spirit upon you and your families. Amen. Our reading today comes to us from Job chapter 1, reading verse 1 to 5. And it says, There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. That man was perfect and upright, a man that feared God and eschewed evil. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was seven thousand sheep, and three thousand camels, and five hundred yoke of oxen, five hundred she-asses, and a very great household, so that this man was the greatest of all the men of the east. And his sons went and fasted in their houses, every one his day, and sent and called their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it was so, when the days of their fasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned, and cursed God in their hearts. Thus did Job continually. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for the reading of his word. And this book of Job and the story of his life is something that we can identify with. Now, who was Job, you may ask? Now, according to the reading that we just read, it states that Job was a blameless and an upright man. Now, he was a man that feared God and he hated evil. He was blessed because of his faithfulness towards God. And so God poured blessing upon him. And so he was one of the richest person in the East at the time. So he was a wealthy man and he had a big family. You heard the most children he had. He had how many sons? He had what? Seven sons. And three daughters. How much children is that? Ten. There's something that I want to focus on or to zoom in on in particularly. The way that Job go about his worship life. Prior to verse 5, the reading state that the, the children, they were having a feast or a fast at one of the brothers' house. After it was over, Job went and he offered sacrifice on their, on their behalf. And hear what he said. He said, it may be that his sons have sinned. Because remember, he was not there. And maybe they cursed God in their heart. And so that is why he went and offered burnt offering or sacrifice on their behalf. So he prayed on their behalf that God will forgive them of their sins or in the event that they sinned. Now, I notice in our day and age that you have a lot of parents who love to swear for their children. And I don't think that is the right way to go about it. And hear why I said that. While you may grow your child in the right way, remember you are not around them 24-7. And while it is good to have confidence in your children and to trust your children that they are doing the right thing, they may slip up. Maybe not intentionally or maybe intentionally. So it is best not to swear but rather to take a different approach like Job did. God, Job didn't say that they sin, you know. He said, maybe. Right? So he knew that he grew his children properly. 
because he was a man of God. Of course, he drew his children properly. But he, he said that maybe that they might have sinned against God. And so because he's not sure that they didn't or they did, he thought it was best for him to seek God on their behalf. Now, there's a lot of times that parents would get complain about the behavior of their children. And a lot of these times, the complain, it is actually true. But because the parent just believe that the child can do no wrong, they never even try to figure out whether or not the child did it. And if the child went ahead and said, okay, mommy or daddy, I didn't do it. It's just stop there. But as I stated, while it is good to have confidence in your children and to trust that whatever you teach them, they will practice even outside of your presence, you must make sure that if you get a complaint about your child, you do the proper thing and to check properly just to make sure. So it's about trust, but you verify understand so it's not that you don't trust your child or you don't believe your child but we have to be wise because remember the devil is not asleep and even more sometimes the devil will use right so i i hope i am making sense especially to those who have children so i'm not saying that you should believe everything that somebody said about your child but as the parent you must use wisdom and to check and to find out don't just check with the child because the child might just tell you what you want to hear. But above all of that and outside of all that, make sure that every day you put your child before God. That is a key point that I want you to take away from this. Never forget to put your child before God because when you send them out there each day, you don't know what will happen and what can happen. And so it is best when you put them in the care of God so that God can take care of them. Amen. And the reading said that this is something that Job did on a daily basis. So he just didn't do it today and then he did it next week. You have to do it on a continuous basis. Every single day, every minute, every hour. Pray for your children. Pray then ask God to forgive your children. Whether or not they are actually sinning or practicing anything wrong, pray that God will forgive them just the same. So cover them. So don't wait until they do something to cover them. Cover them. Amen. So may God continue to bless you as parents and may God continue to give you wisdom and direct you as you continue to lead the children that he has blessed you with to him. Amen.